Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Behind the Blind Podcast, brought to you by Tetra Hearing. Day four, North Dakota. How'd this one go, Ronnie? Um, you know, it was, it was a little not, it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be, because all of the conditions were set up to be perfect. You know, everything that you would ask for, I think, in a North Dakota uh, mallard hunt. We had snow on the ground. It got a little bit of a dusting of snow last, we did night. Have a dusting last <clears throat> night. So, who doesn't like to shoot mallards in the snow, especially when you've got um, sunshine? Because we had the sun come out first time, all first week. time all week, and so that was cool. Now we did have some partly clouds, some partly clouds, some partly clouds, some part time clouds come through. Uh, later in the morning, but uh, couldn't complain about the wind. Wind held up all morning, that's for sure. Uh, there was a, a, obviously a ton of birds in the area. We probably screwed up. I got a little impatient there at the end. Ah, it is what it is. We were <clears> all cold. <throat> How many times have you been on a hunt? If you've done this long enough, you're going to get to the point where you're like, okay, they're done. We're going to pack up and we're going to get out of here. Yeah, and can. every time, we more times do, than not, they're going to fly as you're packing up. We used to do a little trick. We just jiggle the car keys. Act like we're going. So you never taught me that trick. No. Didn't no. Teach me that trick. That was SRP deal. The ultimate trick's just unload your gun. <laughs> right. That's all you got to do. Yay. Unload the drug. We're going for the buggy now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think yeah. we ended up with uh, 17 birds total. I yeah. think I counted. Uh, some hours. <clears throat> yeah. A couple nice big Canada geese. But Nate had to go on a little roust about this morning. We had. Uh, we definitely didn't want to fly for. Yeah, it was. Whenever they came out, I think what happened was there was a there was a group or two of geese that kind of came up off the roost first, and whenever they sat down, you know, I mean they were probably two, three hundred yards off the roost, wouldn't yeah. you say? I mean they weren't far at all. A couple hundred yards off that section, right? Really. Yeah, and whenever they you sat should put down, that microphone a little bit closer to your mouth there, Nate Dog. Whenever uh, whenever the ducks started coming out, the first thing they saw was you know a couple <laughs> a couple of geese sitting on the ground already and. What, like you said, with that fresh coat of snow we had last night, I mean, it was just, you know, they saw some live birds on the ground as soon as they came up off the water. And uh, they started sucking into them, but then um, they all ended up going back to the water. We sat there for another, I don't know, hour and a half or so, and we c shot a couple more. But mm -hmm. with, the, with the wind blowing the way it was, I mean, we thought, hey, they might just sit all day, you know, yeah. with the wind blowing. And like you said, whenever we were picking up, we had, you know, one nice group come out. Which probably would have done it. <laughs> it was a big group. <laughs> I mean, they're flying right over the top right. of us as we're picking up. So. But hey, we had uh, a couple nice bunches come. We shot some really nice Drake mallards. You know, the footage was good. So, yep. All in all, it was a pretty good day. Yeah. Can't complain. But we also have to announce the winner of the prize package. Yeah. We'll do that at the end of the video. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. today, right? That's right. Swag pack, Carlson choke tubes. Mm hmm. Heartland Waterfowl Edition choke tubes that you can find also on our website, yep. heartlandwaterfowl.com, uh, along with the other Heartland Waterfowl merchandise, right. including a picture of Joe Palumbo. Might want a shirt with a me Joe on Palumbo. It. Picture. It's not going to be autographed, but uh, no. It could be. No. No. That no. costs a little bit more. So, uh, well, yeah, we're going to give that away here in uh, just a little bit as we get towards the end of the video. What else would you like to talk about, Johnny Joe? Johnny <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's talk about what's going on next, man. What's uh, let's see, we're leaving here. Nate, what do you got going on coming up? You got uh, you got deer hunters, or what do you got going on, man? No, going deer hunting with the pops and my daughter on Saturday. Right on, cool. Right on. You got a big one you're after? No, no, no. You're just trying to get a deer. No, just time in the woods with three generations. That's really right. yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Always cool, always cool. What do you got going on, Rat? Finish up work for the season and start checking in for. Tornado Alley and getting things done there. Guide that, life. Yeah, yeah, that season starts really what about quick. The, uh, what's the what's the outlook <clears throat> looking like down there? Y'all, it's rain. Y'all got good crops. Yeah, we had like on. eleven inches of rain here a week or so ago. Filled up some ponds and everything. But new lodge. Y'all get that new lodge done. Yep, new lodge is ready to go. Right on and everything. So just you got pictures of that up on the website yet? Uh, no. no. Talk to DT about that. Uh -huh. Him and Brandon got something worked out. Okay. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah. We'll figure I've it seen, out. I think I've seen some Snapchats about the old lodge that look pretty cool. But it's just uh, right there, like across the street, isn't it? It's right. It's right next to Brandon's house. Yeah, quarter yeah. mile. Nice. Something 
Is that, what we're gonna, is that where we're going to stay whenever we come down? Uh, no. No. <laughs> we're, we're, we don't we're, keeping, we're, we're not letting the riffraff stay in there. <laughs> the riffraff. <laughs> we're, cool. we're trying to keep the place nice. <laughs> well, you built it, so I don't trust it anyways. <laughs> the Chateau de la Everett. I'm sure the toilets yep. will be clogged in there for a trip. <laughs> That's funny. What do you got going on, Ronnie? What's up next for you? Where are you headed to? Uh, I'm headed back home to be a dad. And I uh, got three kids I got to take care of. You know, time away means I uh, got to pick up the slack when I get back. Uh, no, but in all honesty, um, I don't know. I might, th- Matt Westcoat and I have permission on a place uh, to deer hunt. So we might consider that. There's some, you know, decent deer on there. Nothing to get overly excited about, but they are mature. And so we might uh, go take a couple sits out there. But outside mm-hmm. of that, just kind of, uh, getting things lined up sponsor wise with all of the deliverables and things that we have to do on the business right. side of Heartland waterfowl, make sure that that's getting uh, done and fulfilled and then gearing up to go to Kansas over Thanksgiving. That's the next trip. That's the next trip. And, uh, as it looks right now, I'm uh, mentally preparing myself for the, what the, whatever that is the two weeks before then to uh, snow goose hunt the entire time that we're out there. So what are you looking? What are, at? What do you got going? What do you got going on, Joe? What are you doing? What were you yeah, looking at? I, I don't know. Just, I don't just know looking. All podcasts. I don't know. Just looking. I felt. I felt a little disrespected there. Like I was yeah, trying to like dive into like, my personal life, and <laughs> yeah. like he's scared. Uh, I'm, I'm bored. bored. Feeling yeah. like he's thinking. Bored yeah. out of your mind. Just thinking. Just, uh, that's scary. What do I have going on? Um, I uh, headed back to Texas tomorrow. I've been up here uh, seven weeks, so I'm anxious to get home. Um, I uh, got to I got to go see a guy about my Achilles whenever I get home. Um, but I've got some deer hunters coming into town. Uh, we'll do some deer hunting over Thanksgiving up to Christmas, um, and then we'll uh, we'll start getting right into cranes and quail right at the New Year whenever you guys come down, and uh, should be good. We have a bunch of rain since I've been gone up here. Um, looks like the quail hatch was pretty good this year too. So hopefully, um, hopefully it'll be a pretty good January for us. Uh, but I'm anxious to get home for sure. It's, yeah, uh, it's been a long cold season up here, and I'm ready to get back to sunny and 75. Right. <clears throat> so five land and holding, and in, in West Texas, where we go crane hunting. It looks like you, like you said, you've got some rain, you got some crop. One of the yeah, things that good. we had an issue with last year when we were crane hunting down there was there was a drought and there right. was no water, which means there was no f- uh, food right. for no them. Birds. And so we had to travel really far to try to find them. That doesn't look to be the case this year. Are you Hopefully completely not. booked up with all your crane hunts this year? Yeah. Uh, January is pretty, uh, pretty packed solid. Right um, I've got pretty much all I can handle. Booked what up, what so. do you have open? I'm trying to help out five land and holding Man, here. To, to be honest, I don't really know off the top of my head. I'd have to check my calendar. Mm. Um, but I know uh, weekends are hard to come by. I might Pro- have some weekdays uh, available, but uh, for the most part, pretty uh, – pretty booked up so probably got some fishing trips open in belize would i would yeah. imagine yeah, yeah. so if anybody is interested in that definitely um really good opportunity uh down there pretty wide open down there uh christmas actually the holidays seem to get pretty busy for us there's a lot of people that go down over the winter especially a lot of snowbirds a lot of people that like to get escape the cold and go down uh, mm-hmm. um but yeah absolutely we uh we could definitely hook that up as well but uh, i'm hoping to get down there soon uh i wouldn't mind getting a little <laughs> trip in down there myself but uh but anyway but nope next cool. thing on the list is deer hunter so fantastic and then i guess the next thing after thanksgiving in kansas is the trip to um oklahoma oklahoma, oklahoma. i think i'm coming on that are you really think, yeah because it's like damn it <laughs> <laughs> if you can walk like, uh, oh yeah. yeah true i yeah. might not be able to but i'm i'm hoping to uh because it's only like six or seven hours from Midland, I think. I looked at it so I could drive what easily. What are you doing, Millie? Yeah, there, Millie. Get out of there. What are you hey, doing? Go lay down. What are you go. Doing? Come on, man. Control your dog. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Don't do that. No. <gasps> She's going to sabotage the pod. Golly, get control of your Come dog. Come on, man. She's the Lodge mascot. So <laughs> Oklahoma, just to kind of map this out, so like the second week or is it first week? I think it's the second week of uh, December. Well, we'll be ninth or 10th. Yeah, so we'll be 11th. in Oklahoma. And then the week before Christmas, or the week of Christmas, actually, uh, we'll be over at Tornado Alley right. in Kansas. And then there's time up. off until we go to Five Land and Holding yeah. and with you down in Texas. Then Wyoming. Then I'm going to miss one on here, I mean, home, Well, home, home yeah, but there's, oh, I guess, yeah, yeah. Wyoming well, I mean, and then home. I want to make that then Tornado trip, Alley. I wish we, I tornado wish, Alley again to finish up in February. I yeah. wish I could come on that trip just one time in January. Wyoming? Yeah. I yeah. think 
One, I would love to make that trip too. One of the other things that we're going to do, you know, over the years since we've been doing this, we go, Logan and I go out to Vegas for shot show. Right. That show has changed a lot over the last three years. So I think what I'm going to do as much as it hurts me because I do love Vegas. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have a good time yeah. in Vegas, but yeah. I'm not going to go to shot show because what going? I'm hearing is the new badass show to go to is NWTF in Nashville. It's and a so big deal, apparently. That is over. I haven't been. I'm not a turkey guy, but they say it's... Oh, no, it's, it's not just a turkey right. thing. It's everything that's right. down there. Right. Uh, and it's a consumer show, and so pretty gobble, much... Gobble, gobble, baby. So I'm going to be there. I think I'm going to hook up with my buddy Buck and Jay from Dirty Duck Coffee. Nice. nice. Maybe share a booth with them. Uh, so come on by, get a picture with me. I'll sign some autographs. Sign some shirts. <laughs> sign <laughs> some shirts with my face on. I'm going to get a t-shirt made of me, and I'll be happy to sign that for right. you. Right. I'm kidding, obviously, but no, I, no you know, he's not. What, no, I am. Uh, the idea be behind cool. that is to walk around, network with some people in right. the industry, and uh, right. get some cool. FaceTime with people who could be partners with Heartland Waterfowl. So if anybody's listening to this, I will be there. Reach out to me. Let's the way speak. Joe's running his podcast, I'm kind of curious yeah. what you're here for. I'm, I'm, I'm trying yeah. to get out of it. I tried to get out of this. Uh, Joe, out of it. <laughs> Joe wanted to, to uh, take his first crack at being a host of uh, of this podcast. So before you know it, he's going to have his own five land and holding podcast. So tell me how that made you feel. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually, I am actually impressed with oh, with man. your performance thus far. Uh, not bad. You, anyway, you uh, seemed a little nervous at the beginning, which. It's a big stage. Okay. Yeah, it is. We uh, choose the field. We do need to <laughs> announce the winner. Q, do you got the? I got it right here. You got the winner queued up, Q. It's all part about. It's all part of being the the host of this damn thing. Damn. Uh, the winner is for the Heartland Waterfowl Swag Pack and the set of Heartland Waterfowl Signature Carlson Cremator Choke Tubes, the mid range and the long range. Congratulations to Dustin Thompson, seventy six eighty two. Dusty T. <sighs> Congrats. And man. I know you got a I know you got a clapping sound effect there on that uh, board, uh, don't uh, you? Uh, hey, uh, Dustin Thompson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dustin, you need to reach out to us, send us a DM, slide into our DM on Facebook or Instagram and uh that way we can get your information. We'll get you hooked up. Yeah, but that's the way you're going to have to contact us. You can also try emailing info at heartlandwaterfowl.com, but it's easier if you use social media. So Dustin Thompson, congratulations, buddy. And thanks for all your support, engaging in all the content. Tubes, dude. Yeah, those choke tubes are great. They're the best. And uh, hopefully you enjoy walking around with your HW swag pack. Well, we're going to wrap this up in North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were going to start it because I was going to like... Right in interrupt, interrupt me. Yeah. We're going to uh, wrap this up from North Dakota. Uh, yeah. On behalf of Heart and Water. Hey, thanks for everything, Joe. Hey, Thank you Thank for you taking guys. care of us. I appreciate no. the opportunity, Thank pal. You guys. I love you guys. I wouldn't Thank you. be anywhere else in the you world, bet. man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on behalf of Heart and Waterfowl, Tetra Hearing, thank you. Thanks to all the sponsors, Everett Atkins, Ronnie Phillips, Nasty Nate Meyer, and I'm Joe Palumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be careful going home today. Yes. All right. Give it up for Joe Palumbo oh. hosting the podcast. <laughs> yeah. All right. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in Kansas over Thanksgiving. <laughs>